One more time, let's practice writing the rule for a geometric sequence. This is a geometric sequence because um, there is a multiplier that will give us the next term over and over again. Um, in this case, uh, we can find that by, by the way, the multiplier that we're looking for is called th the common ratio. So that's why we use the letter R. You can find the common ratio by taking any term and dividing by the previous term. So for example, in this case, I could take the second term, 10, and divide by the previous term, which is negative 5. And that tells me that the common ratio is negative 2. Um, now we can test that out. Imagine if we multiply by negative 2 over and over again. Um, this looks like x minus 2, but I'm doing times negative 2. All right, negative 5 times negative 2 is, neg is 10. 10 times negative 2 is negative 20. Negative 20 times negative 2 is positive 40. So this is the common ratio. Now, the formula for a geometric sequence is the nth term is always going to be the first term times the common ratio to the n minus 1 power. So in this case, the nth term is going to equal the first term, which is negative 5, times the common ratio, which is negative 2, raised to the n minus 1 power. So this is the answer. This is the formula or rule for this geometric sequence. Now let's test it out. So for example, uh, this is the fourth term, which would be called A4. If I wanted to find the fourth term using my little formula here, I would do negative 5 times negative 2 to the 4 minus 1 power. Well, that would be negative 5 times negative 2 to the third power. Well, um, these numbers are small enough that we don't need a calculator. Um, negative 2 to the third power is negative 8. So this would be negative 5 times negative 8. And of course, negative 5 times negative 8 is positive 40, which is what we see here for the for fourth term. So the formula does work.